Hey internet, so welcome to my new home and this is the beginning of a new series on my channel which will take you through every room of my new apartment. This particular video will also be featuring a special guest star that I can currently see in my viewfinder. So that is my cat Fufu, if you haven't met him before, he's been with me for more than a decade and he's my fur baby. Today's installment of this home tour series will be showing you my new living room. It is the first room in my apartment that I finished um, and just one that I'm very eager to share with you because it's where I spend a lot of time and it's also a subtle difference on the way my living room was before last time. I haven't purchased a lot of pieces to update this room, just a few that I think make a key difference in making it more stylish, more interesting, and more functional as well. Um, just for entertaining and hanging out in. So I hope that you guys enjoy this series. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you think of my new decor. So I'm basically standing in front of the entrance. To my right is the kitchen, which will be featured in another home tour video that will be in your subscription boxes soon, definitely on a Monday because that's when all of these videos will be going up. So as you can see, my apartment has a combined living and dining room area, which is very common in Vancouver because space is certainly at a premium here. Let's start with the dining room and if you've seen the tour of my previous apartment which I will make sure to link below then you'll know that this is the same table and chairs it's also the same placemats that I had before so these are white leather chairs which I got from Vancouver Sofa Company and a wooden table which is from a Vancouver um, antique furniture store called Antiques Warehouse and it's quite a nice table for entertaining because it actually extends if you wanted to you can split the two halves open and then there's an insert for the middle. One of the things you guys may or may not know about me probably depending on whether you follow me on Instagram or not is that I'm hugely into cooking I make most of my meals that I take to the office and it's just something that I really enjoy it's my secondary hobby after YouTube so right here I have a combined plant of parsley and basil that I bought. It's not exactly thriving, but not exactly dying either. It's somewhere in between, so I hope it survives on me because one thing I do not have is much of a green thumb, but I do love having fresh herbs around because I think that's just so wonderful for cooking. Then you can see a glimpse into my kitchen and you can see there's a hole in the wall which connects the two rooms, which is quite lovely. It even means I can see the TV from my kitchen if I feel like doing so. And I have a cookie jar, a welcome to my new place card um, from my landlady. You can see on top that plate is a very special piece of decor for me because it was actually painted by my great uncle in Italy um, and he's passed away now but I keep this plate in every place that I go to. It used to be in my kitchen but there's no room in this kitchen because of all the cabinetry so I hung it in the dining room instead and it connects the sort of eating and living space of the apartment and I just love the terracotta colors of it. I think he was really smart in painting it because it looks good in every single apartment that I've lived in and just transitions really well. Then there's this lamp and this is definitely something that I do not like about this space. I need to find a new one but I haven't found one that I love yet. I believe it's from Ikea and the wicker design just to me doesn't fit with my space or my taste um, so I'll need to find something new but it's not so horrible that I couldn't show it to you guys before that. And it's just just an example and you'll see more as I show you the entire tour of my apartment over the series there's always things that need to be worked on with an apartment so this is one of them and I don't think that that takes away from the value of this series because every home is in progress and this is a home and not a showroom and I think there's a valuable difference there you can see my reflection vaguely in my television you can see I have fairy lights because I have tacky girly taste and I just love the way they look um, they're just so pretty at night during the day not so much um, but I wanted you guys to have good lighting so I made sure to film this while it was still light and I have a candle from Bath and Body Works and I have another candle that I brought back from a trip it's really pretty it has sand and seashells in it and it takes a tea light which is handy because those are unscented whereas these ones are very scented so I like combining those two different types of candles then I have a fireplace and you guys can see my bare feet in that which is somewhat creepy but also quite normal and this is just just such a lovely feature to have during the colder months. It heats the room up quite nicely as well. So one of the things that I asked my mom to bring from our home in Victoria 
for this new apartment is this drinks card because I was so excited to finally use it as an adult because as a child actually I basically commandeered this from my mom and took it uh, to put my doll's house on so that's really the association that I have with it but I'm now using it to feature a number of different alcohols um, for parties that I might have and I think it just looks so nice there. Then I have a box that contains tea for guests that might want a cup of tea so I can present it to them and they can pick their tea at their leisure. I just love the fanciness of that. So that's from Bombay which is a Canadian furniture company. Then I have some leather boxes or full leather boxes from Urban Barn and that just contains quite a lot of nail polish. Then over there, you can tell that it's been a hot summer in Vancouver because this year I decided to buy a fan and it's quite a good one because it has ions in it and I'm just quite quite happy with it so far, although I've only used it for a couple of months because I did get it for this new apartment um, right before I left my last one. And then I have a surviving palm tree which is the jewel of my eye because it has lasted a very long time, two and a half years plus actually, um, that I haven't killed it and I inherited it from my mom. So it's had a good long life and you can see the poles next to it are basically to keep it growing straight because it has a tendency to slouch. Then over here I have my Barcelona chair which is also from Vancouver Sofa Company and that large blanket is from Walmart and it is my cat's favorite, it's basically his blankie. And then right here there's a large mantle that I haven't decided to decorate yet. I think pictures would be a good thing to put here rather than a huge assortment of tchotchkes which would be my other temptation. Um, so that's also a work in progress. And then you can see I do have a little decorative piece here which still needs to go up. This used to be in my bedroom and it's a porcelain rhinoceros head um, which I think is quite fun and modern looking and that is from Urban Barn. Tell me what you think in the comments below but I think right above the bar cart would be a good place to hang that but I was quite indecisive about that so it's been a while that I've been kind of thinking over that one. And you can see above these lovely windows there is a gorgeous skylight which gives me wonderful lighting and it's just so nice to look up at um, during the evening or during the daytime and then I have my stag's head hung up there which I think is a good fit and that is also from Urban Barn. So then right here you can see I have a tall lamp and this is also from Urban Barn, definitely one of my favorite places to buy furniture at an affordable price. Then Fufu's still hanging out there since my intro basically, that's one of my, his favorite spots. And then above that I have a painting that's from a Montreal cartoonist and you can see it's actually a collage painting and it's created entirely out of cardboard which is really neat and I think he's so talented. Then I have my couch which is a Chesterfield also from Vancouver Sofa Company and it actually doubles as a pullout bed which is great because I have a lot of friends who do not live in Vancouver so if they visit um, this is really useful although now I have a second bedroom so it's a little more redundant than it used to be but I'm very happy with this couch and I adore the taupe color. I'm obsessed with taupe. My Celine bag is taupe and I think it's just such a gorgeous neutral so I'm really happy with that and the color for that is called mushroom. I have this faux marble coffee table which actually spins out and around to create a circle which is also great for, part for parties and that is from Belgium. Actually old and battered now but I still love it. You can see I have my latest copy of InStyle right there on the table, my iPhone, a lantern with a vanilla candle from Walmart, a bowl with a remote control um, which is kind of a pewter color and that is from um, Target and then I have my Mark by Marc Jacobs um, MacBook cover um, and my MacBook inside it right on the table ready to edit this video after I finish filming it. The final element that I have to show you is this new little table. This is one of the new items that I purchased for this place specifically. And it's a table and you can see it's a mosaic of mirrors on top of it which is so pretty and catches the light in such a cute way. And then one of the two items that's on that table is quite embarrassing, the other one is quite pretty. And you can guess which one. Um, the duck is actually a phone, you can see from the curly cord. And that's so I can let people into my apartment and buzz them up. Um, that's why I have a landline which I never normally use 
used to have and my mom brought over that phone as a total gag gift because my childhood nickname is actually Ducky and yes it does quack when it rings. On top of that I have a new lamp and I would highly recommend this lamp. I think it's so pretty. It's actually got this oval shape and mercury glass effect and it's a good size which is nice for me because I definitely prefer a larger more statement lamp rather than little ones um, and that was quite a bargain from Home Sense, and you may have seen it in my recent home decor haul for my new apartment. That is it for this tour of the first room of my apartment. Stay tuned for a tour of another room next Monday. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.